All right, we're back now with some great theater. Yes. The curtain will rise for the world premiere of Simona's Search at Hartford Stage next week. Yes, we're excited about this. The show is described as a riveting exploration of the bond between fathers and daughters, mm -hmm. love and sacrifice, nature and nurture. Mm. So here to tell us more about it, sounds fascinating, are the actors Al Rodrigo and Alejandra Escalante, welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you for you. being here. Thank you for having us. Yeah. So wonderful. Yeah. You've yeah. been at Harvard Stage before. Yes, I have. I was here back in 1986 uh, in a production of Pericles, Shakespeare's Pericles. And who was the artistic director? Mark Lemos. Mark Lemos. Yeah, wonderful. And he directed it as well. So you know what it's like to perform in that wonderful venue. The great, the great space. Well, phenomenal we're so, space. We're so lucky that we get you know world class actors who come here because you're from Chicago. It's yeah. your first time at Hartford Stage, it but is. even though it's a local theater, um, we get really great theater. In fact, the people, the, the people behind this, one of the writers producers actually helped create Ozark, right? Yes, yeah. Martin Zimmerman, phenomenal writer. Yeah. That is incredible. I'm watching the what show right now. I'm behind, show, right? but yeah. it, it's addictive. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a binge-worthy show. Yeah, yeah. Sure. It's a fantastic <laughs> show. Tell us what this show is about. Simona Search. Simona Search. Well, I thought you actually did a beautiful job of it's because we joke that every day it kind of means something different, mm. just depending on how you walk into that rehearsal. And mm -hmm. it's our bond and f figuring out he plays my father, mm -hmm. I'm Simona, and figuring out how his past um, is going to reflect my present mm -hmm. and my future. Yeah, and quickly uh, the the story behind these characters is that I. I play her father who was born and raised in South America in a country we don't quite know which one. Mm. The playwright doesn't disclose that. Oh, okay. Okay. But he suffered torture as a young oh. man. And so he left that country, came to the States for uh, his uh, political safety. And, uh, but unfortunately, he suffered a lot of trauma. That's the intergenerational he was tortured. inherited trauma. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, so, and what it means yeah. to actually pass down trauma. Exactly. Mm. And so her journey in the play is trying to understand that relationship, understand that truth about her father. And, the, and the, it, it, it's not so easy <laughs> because the father doesn't really want to give Go that there. information. Yeah. He doesn't, he's not willing to go there. Well, so a lot of people don't talk struggle. about their past, especially when it's traumatic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And, and also, I mean, there's a lot of talk about that right now, about that we all have inherited traumas, maybe mm -hmm. from different generations, but how do you be the cycle breaker, or how do you end totally. it and understand yes. it? Is that sort of uh, your modern take? If we bring our teenagers, they're going to kind of relate to you? I think so. Mm -hmm. I think so. And it's, it's this kind of interesting take of because it's like sometimes for certain people it works to talk about it and to find other people who have gone through the same things and for some people like Bobby maybe talking isn't really mm -hmm. the thing that's going to heal him and right. trying to figure out what healing means yeah oh, okay yeah. Right, right. It can be different. Yeah. yeah sure yeah. and the show resonates with adults and children oh, yeah. absolutely sure. yeah for sure and yeah. just a parent child bond to yeah. this very what Martin our writer really captures beautifully is the relationship in in that family unit yeah. and the and the bond that this father and daughter have with one another mm -hmm. the beauty of that and it really is like it's the underlying emotion throughout the play yeah. it's and this it's so incredible complex. love yeah. yeah I'm always interested to know the the actors backgrounds where did you study and how did you get to where you are um, I wanted to be Lucille Ball. <laughs> <laughs> I Me didn't too. Want, I, I, oh my God! So you know? No, I didn't really. I didn't really want to be an actor necessarily. I just, I literally just wanted to be. Uh, I love Lucy. Um, but then I got into it in high school. I think I started. No, I think I did my first play when I was like twelve. Wow, musical. I don't you. do musicals anymore. No, it's okay. Unfortunately, I wish. Um, and and then I went to Boston University. Mm -hmm. Great and, school. Yeah. yeah, that's terrific. Yeah, I went you. to the acting program there many years ago. Oh, that's yeah. when, but um, yeah, and then been working ever since. Yeah. Al? And I actually was very lucky because I grew up in New York City in Queens and I got accepted to the High School of Performing Arts, oh, which was the, yeah. the oh. movie and Thanks. show fame. <laughs> yes. So once I started going to that school, it sort of changed my life. Oh my gosh, it really was yeah, life yeah. changing to go there. It really, it really was. It was amazing. And so that set me on a, a course for, you know, a life as a, as, as a professional professional actor and then I went got my uh, BFA at Syracuse University. That's right. Yeah. 
Hey, yeah. look at yeah, all yeah. these yeah. connections. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, we gotta go. We gotta and go then, see the uh, show. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Please yeah. do. Right. Well, so well, much. We can't thank you enough for being yes, with us. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and speaking of seeing the show, we want to let everyone know Simona Search runs through Thursday, January 18th. You have a little bit of time. Uh, also, uh, through Sunday, February 11th at Hartford Stage. That's 50 Church Street in Hartford. So we've got January 18th. And February 11th or through the through whole time? Through, through the whole time. Yeah. We want to make sure. Okay. February 11th. Okay, so that's a, that's a decent amount of time. We should make sure we get there. It's on 50 <laughs> Church Street. Um, you can go get a great meal downtown while you're there. Get your tickets at hartfordstage.org. All right, still ahead on this Wednesday afternoon. How to